Hey everyone. Um, hey everyone. I'm basically Japan Crate sent this over, and it's the special November crate for this month. It's the Pac-Man crate. Let's open it up and take a look at it. Um, before I continue, if you want next month's crate, which is the December crate, you can get that at uh, www.getlifepodcast.com forward slash Japan crate. If you use the code GALP at checkout, you get $3 off on your premium crate. So this is the premium crate. You get everything in it. We'll go through it and um, see. See what's in this box. Uh, yeah. So I've got an overview of the box. I'm just going to talk about it. What's in the crate? There's a bunch of stuff. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go each through each one and talk about it. In the premium crate, you get everything that's in the red, yellow, and obviously blue as well. You also get some cool mazes. I don't know if you get this in every box, but it'll be cool. And there you go, really nice artwork on there as well. This November, Japan Crate has partnered with Bandai Namco to bring you this exclusive themed crate. We're celebrating one of history's most iconic video game characters, Pac-Man. We hope you enjoy munching your way through these exclusive Japanese snacks, but be careful of ghosts trying to grab a bite. So that's awesome. Um, I've opened this. Something before we get into it, really. There's these stickers. Very nice stickers. Um, on the back, actually, let me just uh, cover it. On the back, there is a game code for the arcade version of Pac-Man on Steam. So you get a game with this as well. That's pretty awesome. So let's get, let's just jump into it. Let's just open the box and see what's inside here. So you got that lovely, that lovely Pac-Man artwork on the box right there. It's Japan Great Pac-Man. I actually like the box. So let's open it and see what we get inside. Let me just, <clears throat> let me just see what you get. Because I'm going to be reading from this thing. You get these. These crisps. Okay, it's got a ninja on it. It's really nice. It's soy sauce flavoured. Um, I believe there's a joke at the bottom. There's probably a joke. Marilyn Monroe dressed as a ninja. Um, or ninja dressed as Marilyn Monroe. Um, pretty cool stuff, man. Like, I like this classic artwork. It's like the, um, you know, the Japanese woodblock prints. I think that's pretty cool. So that's the first one. We've done that. Um, it's actually called Ninja Fuwa Maru Soy Sauce Snack. Uh, fuwa fuwa is, means like fluffy in Japanese, if you guys don't know that. Um, it's pretty cool. It's supposed to melt in your mouth. It's silent. That's why it's a ninja snack. And he's got a teapot. I didn't notice this. He's got a teapot at the top. So, yeah, cool. The next thing that we're going to go through, that was part of the premium. So, that's exclusive to premium crate. So... We'll go through and say what's part of which. We've got the Fue Ramune. There's like these little chalk candies that are flavoured to be like Fue Ramune. Um, even the design of the bottle is very reminiscent to Fue Ramune. That's where you get your marble. I don't know if you guys know Fue Ramune, but it's that thing that you slap. It's a drink, basically. It's a lemonade drink that you slap the uh, marble in. It's sealed with marble. Okay. Cool. That is actually part of the original crate. So if you were going to go for the original, you would have got this in the box. That's just the... There you go. What is this? What is this? Key chocolate. It's um, chocolates that look kind of reminiscent of those Pac-Man pellets in the game. They are like M&Ms or like Smarties if you're living in the UK or Canada. That's pretty, pretty similar to that. It's pretty cool. I like it. That's also part of the original crate. Um... <clears throat> Cherry mochi. Yeah. It's little mochi. Are they hard? They, they look a bit hard. I don't know. These cherry mochis. Um, you eat them with a toothpick. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool. It's part of the mini crate. So I believe it goes mini, original, and premium crate. So this is the premium crate. You have everything in it. This is the cheap. This is from the cheapest crate that they do. If you want everything, go for the premium. I'll be honest with you. Um, this. This is one of those DIY um, kits. It's basically you add water, you stir it, you follow the instructions. It's supposed to make like snow cones. Like ramune flavored smo sn ugh, snow clones. Snow clones? Snow cones. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. It, it said it's cider, but I don't know if it's going to be cider flavored, but there you go. We'll do a taste test of these. 
individually and tell you guys what we what you think of them as we did with our kunai episode this is basically um is grape flavored you know those strawberry laces in the uk and in, in america you might have them um it has like a cream like a like a cream or icing filling it's like that but great that's gonna be interesting i think i'll like that um this is mini melon pan shaped like a panda it's actually a biscuit but it's it's supposed to be reminiscent of the melon pan that you might find in japanese supermarkets or in convenience stores um that is pretty cool we'll see that that's also part of the mini crate so you'll get that in the mini crate there is a theme with these mini crates the mini crate is obviously miniature stuff um but there you go i'll put that to one side um this i do not know what it is there's no description at all um yeah i don't know if they put this in by accident i don't know but it looks like a tea biscuit let me see, let me see what it says that's the ingredients um it's a tea biscuit with this princess or human summer okay i'll throw that well I'll, I'll eat it but i'll see what it is i don't know what it is inside if it's like a like a fortune cookie or is it supposed to look like a braided hair i don't know we'll get onto it um <clears throat> you've got your lotte topo this is basically um similar to pocky and such but this is really like i really like these it came a bit damaged but there you go i really like them because these are actually filled on the inside um i really do enjoy my favorite flavor of these is the matcha flavor so this is actually dark dark chocolate flavor so this should be nice it's got a chocolate biscuit with a chocolate filling so that's pretty cool these are incredibly expensive in the uk by the way for you guys who shop at japanese shops in the united kingdom this might cost you about three or four pounds it's actually a premium one um so it might cost you even more than that so I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that these this theme with this kind of Japan crate is that you're getting a lot of snacks that you might not find in the UK or if you find them, they're incredibly expensive. So you're saving money if you are going for that um, premium crate for the Japan crate. And this is also one of the premium items, so that's really cool. Um, let's see what else is next. This is interesting. This is really interesting. What is this one? Saucy Senbei. Okay. I don't know what this is. Uh, senbeis are often enjoyed in Japanese festivals, grilled with nori or lathered in sauces. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a rice cake. I don't know if it's, um, I really don't know what it is. Um, you have your sauce there. Let's, let's see what that, you have your sauce there. I don't know if it's like a teriyaki sauce or something. And it's like a biscuit that you pour the sauce over. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like the artwork on it though. It's very reminiscent of festivals. He's wearing a jinbei. Uh, he's got his headband. He's pretty smiley. I like that. That's really nice. Um, moving on. That was actually part of the um, original crate, just so you guys know. What is this? This I'm guessing this is part of the mini crate. It has to be. There's no way it isn't. Oh, no. It's part of the original crate. This is actually um, gumballs. Japanese gum. Sorry. Oh, it was upside down. Japanese gum that's flavored like orange. I've never seen orange flavored gum before. Uh, so... As you can see, it's very small. My hands are massive, but this is very, very small. It's very nice packaging. Uh, this is a lovely thing I like about Japanese um, culture and how they package stuff. Everything is individually wrapped and packaged. Even this box is like wrapped in cellophane. So that's really cool. That's how I like that. I like the sound. You know, it's, I'm like a baby. You know, when you when you dangle keys in front of a baby, I enjoy that. That's really cool. Um, that was part of the original crate, I think. Yeah, it was part of the original crate. This is gum grape no not gum sorry it's grape flavored gummies these high-end gummies these are okay these are premium gummies um high-end gummies are popular amongst our subscribers they're back grape flavor combines two different textures so there's two different textures i'm guessing it's like a jelly and then a harder texture i haven't eaten this what is that is that like oh they're grapes and they peeled the grape okay i get it i get it why is the grape so yellow in there. i've never seen grapes like that maybe japanese grapes are different but um great kind of squishies gummies that's cool i like grape flavored stuff so that's really interesting um i don't know if it's going to be similar to the grapes that we have in the uk i'm guessing japanese grapes 
tend to taste a lot different, so I'll put that to the side. These are pretty cool. I've tried these before. They're basically like, they're kind of like the Fouet Ramene uh, Cirque, Fouet, Fouet, you know Fouet Ramene, the, the whistles? It's kind of like that, but like, not a whistle, like you can't really play with it. It is Juicy Idori Ramune. Um, they're pack dot shaped candies in orange, orange soda, I think. Uh, grape, of course, and original Ramune. So that's pretty cool. There are chalk candies. Which, you know, I've tried these before. They are beautiful. I love them. I love chalk candies to begin with, but the flavor is really nice in them. Um, this peach, peach gummies, Momo, does that, it says Momo, I think, I think, I hope that says Momo, I don't know, but I presume so, um, you got a nice peach shape, I want to open them, but I'm going to eat them later and do another video, um, well, we do this taste test, so that's pretty cool, I think these are going to be really nice, I have a feeling, I've tried these other ones that were from the same brand, but they're like lemon and they're super sour, and I've tried some, um, plum ones as well so peach might sound nice peach might sound nice to eat i presume so. so i'll put that to one side um more gummies as you can tell this is pac-man themed and pac-man he eats you know cherries and you know other fruits and such so these are more gummies in a pack here as well kind of reminds me of the gummies that we have here wine gums um or you know those little burgers that how they're packaged in this kind of plastic packaging and then it's got a plastic tray on the inside this is pretty cool it's a fruits basket so that's awesome you might be seeing this can i'm not gonna well i'm not gonna show you the can until the end and that's a really cool thing about the premium crates is that <clears throat> you always get a drink in it from japan so that's really nice um this is also something um premium as well this is interesting mr taro onion snacks they're onion balls. And it's got his kid. I'm guessing that's Mr. Taro. And that's Taro-kun. Or Taro-chan. I don't know which one it could be. But regardless. It's Taro. Um, sorry. Not Taro flavored. Mr. Taro. Apology. T taro -san, Um And his onion sons. So it's basically onion flavored puffed uh, corn. I'm presuming. Like. A, oh yeah, let me read. It's, I think it's a corn snack. I don't think it's potato. But anyway, regardless, this kind of reminds me of uh, Mr. Tom's or, you know, the Tom's um, tomato ball corn snacks. I don't know how to explain it. You guys might have them in America, but I know if you go to any corner shop in the UK or if you go to Budgeons or whatever, you'll find them there. But these are onion flavored, so that really should be nice. I love onion rings. Um, onion rings in terms of the crisps or Funyuns or whatever, I'm hoping it will be... A, a nice solid onion flavor the packaging is quite odd i'm guessing probably in japan you buy onions in this sort of pack like red packs i don't know <clears throat> but looking at it initially it reminded me a lot of those um tom's um onion crisp not onion crisps um tomato crisps which are really nice but i'll try these and we'll see final thing before we get into the drink is the it's another soy sauce crisp but it's dragon shaped so it's basically this dragon butter and soy sauce okay i don't frito lay you might know them as lays in america or you might know them as walkers in the united kingdom um they got their twitter page they got everything but it's basically dragon shaped chips well, they're not dragon shaped, but they're like twirlies. I really enjoy that. And they, they are, um, they're not corn. They're potato. That's interesting. I don't know how they got the potato to look like that, but that's cool. Um, in terms of shape, they're similar to quavers. I haven't tasted them yet. Soy sauce should be interesting, should be salty. I'm guessing you get some sort of sweetness from the butter, some sort of savouriness as well. That should be interesting. I'll put that the end and this is the star of the show by the way this is part of the premium crate as well um <clears throat> star of the show parade milkshake in a can i'm lactose intolerant so i don't know how this is gonna go for me 
if I eat this, um, or sorry, if I drink this, I don't know how well this is going to go. But regardless, um, oh, I love, I love those Japanese cans. Like, it's so interesting. It actually tells you how to open a can. We don't get that in the UK, and I, I'm presuming you don't get that in America, because I assume people already know how to open cans. You know. But really, that is nice. It is milkshake flavored. Milkshake in a can. They've been around since the 50s. And they're still here today. Kind of like Pac-Man. So, that was Japan Crate Pac-Man Edition. Once again, you get those stickers as well. And the bonus, which is the game code. So, <clears throat> I believe these are $35. If you want to get for next month, this is actually this month's crate. So if you already, there's no way for you to get this crate. So if you wanted to get it, I'm sorry, there's no way for you to get it. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing giveaways for these Japan crates every month. So stay tuned. We'll do more unboxings. We will do everything. So that is pretty cool. Just remember, guys. Thank you very much for Japan Crate for sponsoring this and obviously for sponsoring our podcast, Get Life Podcast Kunai and the original Get Life Podcast. So thank you, Japan Crate. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing these every month on Instagram TV. We might put them on YouTube as well as blog posts. So check out that. And yeah, if you want to go and get yourself next month's crate, go to www.getalifepodcast.com forward slash japan crate and remember to use the code japan crate sorry remember to use the code gallop that's g-a-l-p on the website for three dollars off on your purchase so we're going to enjoy this we're going to do videos on this and oh this is i don't know there's something really nice about it that's pretty cool. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll be um, talking to you guys next time. Bye-bye.